Oshawa Beach.
Good evening. Uh, Robert? Yes, commissioners. Yeah. Uh, yep, can you hear me at all? I can now. Um, do you have the agenda you can put or uh, to put up on the screen? Are you sharing yes, with do. staff? Not yet. I'm pulling it up right now. Ah, here we go. Yep. Every meeting, that's what we need to start with the agenda. Okay. We'll make sure I have that up there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I just received host. So perfect. Okay, we'll give it about two more minutes and um, then we'll get started. Thank you.
Commissioner, I won't be on camera for the first 15 minutes. I'm currently on my way to the office. All right, good evening. Good evening, everyone. I am excited to uh, start this school year and the first session of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council 2023-2024 term. I am Wayne County Commissioner Monique Baker McCormick and I am the administrator of the program. And we also have the, my, uh, or the commission legislative aide, Robert uh, is on as well. So I want Robert to go ahead and introduce himself uh, very briefly, um, tell a little bit about who you are and uh, how'd you get here. Thank you, Commissioner. Unfortunately, I won't be on camera when addressing this, but good evening to all returning members and new members. My name is Robert Plowski. I am the new legislative aide for the Wayne County Commission Youth Council. I was originally a District 15 Youth Council member serving last year during the 2022-23 term. And I was excited to come back and have this opportunity to work with the Youth Council more on a staff level and be able to see it continue to grow and watch students excel going forward. And I'm excited to see the progress we'll be making this year and watching all of our members I've served with continue to grow and go into their future endeavors. Great. And so far, you're doing a great job, Robert. Uh, and as a former member, um, I believe that he's going to do even bigger and better things. Uh, most of you, or at least the former members, know that Nairobia was with us and she is working on her law degree. So she 
moved on. And um, that's what I expect all of you to do as you uh, grow and learn and kind of figure out where you want to be and what you want to do in life. That is what this council is about. It's about growth in, um, in your leadership skills and your ability to know that you have a voice in your community and that your voice matters. And so as you learn some of the things that we do uh, in the youth council, as you learn more about them, um, and I think over time you'll you'll get a feel for what you'd like to um, move into. Um, some want to become the next mayor, the next president, or maybe it's just I want to serve in my community and serve on a board of directors. Uh, all of what we do in the Wayne County Commission Youth Council will help you in all areas of your life. That's why one of our mottos or our motto is create opportunity, realize success. And with that, um, Madam Clerk, I believe we have uh, our commission clerk on the line. Is that correct? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Um, can you tell a little bit about your role um, on the commission and introduce yourself? Um, hi, my name is Pamela. I am the acting uh, commission clerk and director of policy research and analysis. We clerk all of the meetings for the Wayne County Commission, and we also provide the commissioners with analysis of all of the contracts and items that come before the commission for approval. Thank you for that introduction. You're welcome. All right, we will um, move forward with the roll call. And, and what I'm doing today is only for today after this, the chair uh, or slash president of the youth council will um, chair the meetings and run the meetings. So I'm only doing this today uh, because it is your council. It's not, it's not mine. So, all right, um, we'll go ahead with roll call. Time is be set. Here. Kelly Cox. Good evening. Madison Fleming. <laughs> Madison Fleming. Maya Freitas. Here. And if I mispronounce your name, please pronounce it so that um, we'll know, everyone will know. Noah Gubin. Here. Leela. Hello. I'm sorry. Can you, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Madison Fleming. Thank you. Leela Hilden. Leila Hilden has requested an excuse this meeting. Thank you. Lauren Hobson. Mm -hmm. Lauren Hobson. Here. Leah Irving. Leah Irving, Jayla Jackson, here, Janine Jackson, here, Kiara Johnson, here. Okay, so please help me out. N N Nidai Kumar? It's, it's Nitty. Nitty? Nitty mm -hmm. Kumar? Yeah. Rishi Kumar. Present. Zion McCain. Hi, Zion McCain is here. Priya Roy. Priya Roy.
Priya Roy, Olivia Sherwood. I'm here. You have a quorum present. Thank you. The next item, please. Opening invocation. So each uh, meeting, we open it in a prayer and uh, one of the members can, you can designate one of the members or you can switch up members. It just depends on how you all will decide to do that. But is there anyone that would like to give a invocation today? And that's just simply a prayer or a um, well wishes, uh, what you know, whatever you want to, however you want to call it. Uh, I got to get someone. Anyone? I guess I'll shoot my shot, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and your name, your name and school that you attend. Uh, I'm in grade. Mm -hmm. And I'm a sophomore at Northville High School. Okay. Um. Well, I'm not really religious, but uh, I hope everybody's doing well today. Um. I hope everybody had a great work or school day. Um. I hope that everybody's practicing their mindfulness and staying in the moment, trying to focus on being here and in the here and now, and hopefully everything in life, like, all like the concerns or like, oh, I got my homework due right after this. I, everything will like wrap up in itself pretty nicely. And yeah, uh, welcome to the meeting and have fun. Thank you. That was perfect. Perfect. All right, next item, please. Introduction of members. So what I'd like to do is go in the order that the um, agenda has each name. So if you look at the list of names on the agenda, does everyone have their agenda handy? If not, we'll just call your name and then you can, um, you can introduce yourself. I would like to know your name, um, your school, your grade, and uh, why you want to be a member, or right now you are a member, why and why you want to be a member, or what value you think you'll bring to the youth council. So we'll start with uh, Thomas, our senior, right? And right. Yes, he's been a member with us for three this years. Is my third year. Yes, yeah. so, yes. Um, this is my third year on this council. Um, I really enjoy serving on it. Um, I represent District 13, San Bay Dune. Uh, I go to Dearborn High School and I'm part of this council because I just really enjoy serving my community um, and kind of collaborating with everyone across the whole county. It's really nice to see different perspectives of different people I usually don't get to see staying at home or just going to school. So I'm happy to be back for another year. Great, welcome. All right, next we have Kelly Cox. Hi, everybody. My name is Kelly Cox. Um, I'm a junior at Cass Technical High School in Detroit, Michigan, and this is on my second year on the council. And I'm just really excited to be back to get to collaborate with everybody and just really get to know the new members. And also, I know the um the office, the commissions um commissioners, they work with Kim Worthy, which is the position I want to be in, a district attorney. So it's really cool just getting to learn the ins and outs of people who make change. Thank you, uh, Madison. Hi, everyone. My name is Madison Fleming, and I'm a sophomore at Cass Tech. Um, uh, I joined this group because um, I just wanted to, I want to like, you know, get more involved with like my community and like find out ways like to like change, be able to like change things, like problems that like uh, I feel like are important. So yeah. Thank you. 
uh, Maya. Hi, oh, sorry, <laughs> getting over being sick. Um, I'm Maya Freitas. I'm a senior at Southgate Anderson. Um, this is my first year on the council. Um, I'm interested in being on the youth council just kind of because I want to be able to give like a voice to the students in my community and just kind of get like active in like politics and stuff because that's kind of the field I want to go into um, later in life. Great. Um, next is Noah. Hi, my name is Noah Gubin. Um, I'm a senior at Ham Tramick High School. And one of the main reasons I decided to apply for the youth council was because I feel like a lot of people in my community don't really have a voice in a lot of issues that happen because we are a very small town, only two miles. So I, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to join the council. And I did want to meet new people and other people in my community. So that's the reason. Great. Is it uh, Leela? Is Hilden? Commissioner Layla, Layla has been oh, excused Layla? for this okay. meeting. All right, so excused. And then how about uh, Lauren? Hi, my name is Lauren. Um, I go to Arts Academy in the Woods in Fraser, Michigan. And the reason I joined the council was really to learn new perspectives about people trying to help their community and be a part of something helpful and creative. Okay, and what grade are you in? I am a senior. Senior. Okay, oh, we have quite a few seniors. All right. Uh, next uh, is Leah. Oh, is she not she, here? I think she's absent. Okay. Then Jayla. Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Hello, I'm Jayla Jackson. I go to Southeastern High School. I'm in sixth grader. And I want to be in this business because of the fact I'm very political. I like what I see so far, and I hope to approve from what I'm seeing and hearing. Great. Um, next, um, yeah. can you yeah. can you take over, um, Robert, for me, right quick? Robert. Yeah. yeah, that is not a problem. Okay, thank yep. you. Yep. Can everyone hear me? Yep. I'm a little microphone's going in and out. Um, give me one second to pull our agenda up on my screen. Uh, so the next one was Janine. You can go ahead whenever you're ready. Hi, I'm Janine. I'm a senior at Thurston and I joined the, oh, this is my second year of being on the council. And initially I joined just because you see a lot of things go on in your community, but most of the time, like you feel like there's nothing much you can do. So I felt like this was a program where I was able to take action. So, yes. Great, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, the next person I have here is Kira Johnson. Is Kira on by any chance? Seeing none, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next person or, oh wait, I see Kira. I'm gonna come back to her. Um, Nidhi Nairendra Kumar, please correct me if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, I'm going to let you go ahead whenever you're all ready. All right. Uh, my name's Nidhi. Uh, my full name's Narendra Kumar, but you can just say Kumar because two last names is a lot. Um, I'm a sophomore at Northville High School, and uh, this is my first year on um, the council. Um, the reason why I wanted to join uh, is kind of like 
the adults in my life don't really listen to me like not just like my parents because I mean nobody's parents really listen to them do they um but I'm talking about like the people who really make the laws like I've noticed a lot of youth-based issues like gun violence substance abuse things that we really care about they've often really been ignored by like the people who are supposedly higher up. So I thought joining the council, getting some real action on this could really like hammer home kind of like what we value the most. Well, we are glad to have you here. And you know, one of the things about the youth council is change and we are deeply honored to have you and, you know, look forward to seeing more progress grow this year. And thank you for your interest. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Rishi Kumar. Uh, Rishi, go ahead whenever you're ready. All right, thank you, Robert. Um, yeah, hi, everyone. My name is Rishi Kumar. I'm Nibby's brother. Uh, I'm a senior at Northville High School from District 9, who um, my representative is Commissioner Terry Marecki. Uh, I spent a great last year with the Youth Council, um, just, you know, making an impact in the community as youth. And to me, that was big by itself. Um, and I just want to continue doing that for one more year before I head off to college, hopefully. And also, welcome back, you, you, you enter. Welcome back, uh, Talk a little bit about that, please. Sorry, uh, Commissioner McCormick, you kind of cut out. I, I was just saying that you also interned. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah. Uh, so this past summer, I was delighted and given the opportunity to uh, intern at the Wayne County Management and Budget Department. Um, and there, uh, I believe Miss Mary is, or was on this call. Um, but I was able to, under the assistance of um, a few people, was allowed to look at different contracts, budgets, um, attend commission meetings, talk to commissioners, and get a good feel for what the Wayne County Commission does. Um, it was a great experience, uh, and I'm really glad to have this opportunity, which I wouldn't have gotten through without WCCYC, um, and hopefully can do something similar next year. Okay, well, welcome back, Rishi. And it's a pleasure to work with you again. And thank you for actually sharing that. Um, that's really enlightening for all of our new members coming in, but also our returning members. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Zion McCain. Uh, go ahead whenever you're ready for your introduction. Hi, everybody. I'm Zion McCain. Um, I've been a member of the Youth Council for three years. Um, this is my last year. I'm a senior at Cass Technical High School. Um, last year, I served as vice chair alongside Deara Searles, who is um, in college now. Uh, I'm super excited to work with you guys. I joined the Youth Council three years ago um, because my mom sent me the email. She's like, okay, I'm gonna make you sign up. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I got accepted. And then my first year, I was kind of getting the lay of the land, getting to know everyone. And we really made a change. Um, our first resolution was about gun violence. And I thought that was really, really good. And I, then I saw the change that we were making in our community and I continue. And so here I am. Also, Robert, y'all spell my name. Y'all spell my last name wrong. It's M-C-C-A-N-N. I can update that when we amend our minutes, but that's no problem. And it's good to work with you again, Zion and really look forward to all the progress coming forward this year. Um, next person I have here is Priya Roy. Correct me if I'm saying that wrong, but go ahead whenever you are ready. Hi, okay, I can come back to Priya at our next name. Uh, our last name on the list we have here is Olivia Sherwood. Go ahead whenever you are ready. Hello, I am Olivia Sherwood. I'm a junior at Lincoln Park High School. I live in the city of Lincoln Park. Um, I wanted to be a part of the Youth Council to get connected to my community 
and learn more about the issues that other kids around my age are also dealing with and to help have a bigger impact on not just everyone else's lives, but also my peers' lives. Well, welcome to the council, Olivia, and we look forward to working with you and the rest of our members throughout the year. Um, I'm going to go back to Kiria Johnson. I'm going to give her another chance to introduce herself. Um, if she's still on the line, go ahead whenever you are, Kira. Hello, everybody. My name is Kira Johnson. I am a junior at Renaissance High School, and this is my second year on the council. Um, I'm back because last year I had a great experience. I really didn't know what the council was about, but it introduced me to a lot of opportunities. And last year, our resolution was economic oppression, and it was just a great opportunity. So I'm back to do it again. Thank you so much. And welcome back, Kira. And I'm very much proud of our resolution last year and how much it took to get that passed. So welcome back. And uh, hopefully we get to do more stuff like that again this year with all of our members. And I'm also going to come back to Priya Roy. Uh, Priya Roy, are you still on the line? It looks like she's having some te technical problems. Okay. Uh, um, put that in the chat. So. Okay. Um, then we can move on. And just for note, for the clerk, we do have members. These are our present members that have attended. We do have members that have been excused to this meeting. But until further notice, until we have confirmation from the parents on all documentation that is required for the Youth Council, they will not be on the agenda until that has been arranged. All right. So the next item, Madam Clerk. Program overview and code of conduct. So we have a map that um, I sent out. Uh, Robert, do you have the, the map that you can put up? Yes, if, I do. I okay. can share my screen here. Yeah, if you can. I might need to. So while he's there we go. that, um, the map, uh, is it up? Let me think I might be. Oops. You should. Can everyone see my screen at all? We just, I just see you. I got some nodding of the heads. Yes, okay. you see the map. See it somehow. You see the map? Okay, maybe it's just me. Okay, great. Okay, so the map basically shows Wayne County uh, and all of the 43 communities that are part of Wayne County. So we are the Wayne County, you are the Wayne County Commission Youth Council, and you should live or either go to school in one of those communities. Do you all see the communities that you either go to school in or, or um, live in? Right, okay, and each of them have a, a number, which is a district. And each district is represented by a commissioner. I represent District 6, which is the Northwest of Detroit and also Retford Township. And each of you have a commissioner that represents you and your interests uh, and your parents' interests. So uh, I just want you to take a look at the map and point out the district. And then we're going to pull up uh, the one pager um, uh, and just give them a few minutes to look at the map. And then I want you to, um, and I can't see the map. I don't know why am I, oh, you know what? Here it is. Okay, I had it on something else. Okay, so um, so you see that the map actually has just the cities or the municipalities that each commissioner represents. It doesn't have the actual number on it. Um, but if you flip to the next slide, um, Robert, which is that one pager? You have that one, one pager. It's gonna be a picture. Uh, the code, the, 
No, no, it's a one pager I sent with uh, the map. I said you have a map and a and a one pager that has all of the commissioners on it. Okay, give me one second. No I'm problem. pulling that up on my end. Yeah. So, do you all have Stop any questions sharing my screen. about that map so far? Okay. So each commissioner, again, we have 15 different commissioners that represent 43 of uh, the communities. Uh, each of us have a, a portion of Wayne County. We are the legislative branch of Wayne County. And then we have an executive branch. So the executive branch, um, it's much like uh, sitting on a board of directors. Uh, where you have a group of folks that help to guide the direction of, of the board. Uh, and then you have that one individual that kind of runs the day-to-day -day business of the board. Well, that's what our county executive does. So we have a county executive who runs the day-to-day -day business of Wayne County government, and he's an elected official. And then the commissioners, we are the board of directors, and we make sure that that individual, the county executive, is running the day-to-day -day business as it should be ran, uh, making sure that we have a budget to pay for all of the things that uh, you use on a daily basis, like the roads and uh, parks, Wayne County parks, Wayne County jails, uh, all of those departments, that's what commissioners do. We make sure that the, the budgets are balanced and, and that the role of, of those individuals that are over those departments, uh, that they're meeting their goals and assignments. Now, we also have elected officials uh, that run the various departments of Wayne County. So what? So one of the uh, members just talked about they wanna be a prosecutor uh, or either work for the prosecutor. So she is an elected uh, official, but we oversee the Wayne County Commission. We oversee her budget. Um, and then we have the Wayne County clerk, who is Kathy Garrett. And then we also have the Wayne County Register of Deeds the Wayne County Sheriff, and then the Wayne County Treasurer. So those are all of the departments that we as commissioners, we oversee and we make sure that the budgets are uh, balanced and that the day-to-day -day business of Wayne County uh, is conducted and that you as constituents are provided the services that we're supposed to, you're supposed to get as taxpayers. So the money that you pay or your parents pay, or if you have a job, a summer job or any job and it pays taxes, the taxes go back a, a, a small portion to pay for all of the services that we have in our community because someone has to pay for a road or a sidewalk that you walk on and someone has to take care of the parks that you play in um, and for the bad guys in the world well we need somewhere to put them and so we have a county jail uh, and all of our tax dollars together pay for all of these services and the taxpayers pay 
for elected officials to do their jobs. So taxpayers are our bosses. You, if you pay any taxes, you're my boss. So that's why it matters how you feel and what you want in your community because we as elected officials are responsible for providing you the services that you pay for every day. So Com with that- Commissioner, you should have the one page. Sure. Yep, I see it now. Yep. So with okay. that, uh, this one pager shows all of the 15 commissioners. And at the very top of this page, it shows the chair, uh, Alicia Bell. And then it had we have a vice chair, Joseph Palomera, and it tells your the district number under it, and then Sam Baydoon, who is vice chair pro tem. So they're the leaders of the board. And just as you will have when you have a, this election today, you're going to have uh, a chair of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council, and that person will lead the meetings. If the chair isn't available, then the vice chair leads the meetings. And then if you look at, uh, uh, at the other commissioners and their districts. Uh, as you can see, everybody has a different district number. And one of those commissioners is your commissioner. And it's your job to reach out to your commissioner and get to know your commissioner. All right, any questions about what I just covered? No questions? All right. So with that, you should have received a code of uh, conduct that talks about um, the way in, we, in which we conduct ourselves, um, being respectful to everyone. I'm going to have Robert go through uh, the code of conduct very quickly because you guys can read it uh, more thoroughly, but just very quickly go over the key points, Robert. Thank you, Commissioner. So the code of conduct, really getting in depth here, is one of the key pointers is conducting yourself in a friendly and law-abiding manner at all times. So business professionalism does matter on the Wayne County Commission Youth Council as a member, including showing respect, for who you come in contact with. So that could be member or staff and the actions, words, you know, this will include, you know, groups outside of it as well. But for business and professionalism is one of the key pointers when joining the Wayne County Commission Youth Council and respect is one thing, you know, even if you disagree with that person will matter as well in this business setting. Uh, respecting the facilities. So facilities, um, if we have an event, or we are hosting an event at a certain facility and we are not in our meeting setting of Zoom. Uh, we, re, we do ask that, you know, we have rules in place, which are you know, don't throw trash on the floor, no standing, no walking, just clean up after yourself and conduct yourself with manners and respect in all of our meetings. But also when we do have our in-person meetings, uh, conducting yourself with manners, but also respect when coming into most of our meetings. Um, language, uh, which is another, I don't really think this one's a big issue, but no obscene language, illegal drugs, smoking or weapons, and the group will not tolerate behavior or language that is disrespectful or rude to other council members or those in authority over the group. Uh, it'll also include commissioners, chaperones, parents, advisors, and those who are involved in the operation, whichever location event we are attending. I did discuss that a little bit in our last key bullet points for this. Um, such as behavior that will 
uh, continue repeatedly in the Wayne County Commission Youth Council of uh, disrespect or manners that are not being followed will be dismissal from the Wayne County Commission Youth Council or a call to your parents to discuss the matter at hand. Disruptive or unsafe behavior on trips will not be tolerated or unsafe behavior includes any violation of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council's rules as well or rules that specifically were imposed for that trip. Does anyone have any questions for me before I move on to the next section? Going once, going twice, final ball. Everything seems okay for now. Um, the dress guidelines. So for our in-person events, um, clothing should not be disruptive or bring unnecessary attention. Um, offensive or obscene pictures or words will not be permitted. Um, so clothes, business casual, uh, there's not really too much to really go off that, but uh, no shirts with obscene or disrespectful language to be respectful of other members and also staff as well when joining the youth council. Uh, the following will not be permitted. I'm just gonna read off as follows. Um, bare midriffs, spaghetti straps, tank tops, see-through clothing, tube tops, halter tops, visible under garments, pants should be worn at waist slash hip level, dresses, skirts, shorts, skorts, and garments that are shorter than the wearer's fingertips will with the arm and hand fully Jeans and t-shirts are not permitted to wear to a meeting. If a garment has a slit, the top of the slit must be lower than the wearer's fingertips with the arms and hands fully extended. Sorry, my, my computer's a little lagging here. My apologies. If you do not wear it to a job interview, then chances are you should not wear it to the meetings. If you dress in an inappropriate manner, you will be asked to be put different clothes on for the meeting, or you may ask not. You may be asked to not return to the meetings until you can abide by the dress code. I will be asked to leave student council if I do not meet the said requirements. So, uh, it, it would basically go into the same setting here. If you were in a professional setting with another committee you serve on, or another uh, committee that you serve on, regardless politics or not. It, whatever the case may be, business, personal, it has to be a little separated when it comes to clothing. So just be mindful of that rule. And if you have any questions on that, please feel free to ask our commissioner or myself. Attendance at regular youth council meetings is expected from all members. If a member cannot attend due to a sickness or for a duly authorized reason, the members shall notify the Office of Commissioner Baker McCormick, or they can notify myself by email or cell phone number. Any member who fails to appear and answer to his or her name when the roll call has been done at any other meeting, it shall be recorded as absent, excused, or unexcused. Any member of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council who missed three consecutive meetings will be asked to leave the council with a follow-up email. The final authority determining what is and what is not considered disruptive and unsafe behavior will be the youth coordinator. If your behavior is deemed disruptive or unsafe, your parents will be notified and you may be removed from the program. Um, if anyone sees disruptive behavior or anything offensive by members or staff, um, please reach out to me or the commissioner's office so we can address it first at hand. As always, if you guys did not sign this or any member has signed this just yet, um, I will always keep a positive attitude and be grateful. Um, that's kind of my motto as well, but you do acknowledge that the Wayne County Commission Youth Council's Code of Conduct has been followed as read and you are more than welcome to read this at any time, but you will also abide by signing your name, date, signature, and your email as well. With that, does anyone have any questions regarding the code of conduct. I know it's a lot again. All going right. Once, yes, oh, go going twice. Madam Chair, I think we're all set. All right. Great. Great. So we'll move on to our oath of office. Cut back on my camera. Uh, so if you have Madam that, Chair, before we sure. 
Before we move on to the oath of office, can we give an introduction to Priva Roy? Uh, she had some trouble, uh, technology issues, and I'd like to give her an opportunity before we go into elections. Oh, sure. Is she able to, did, was, did she get uh, her sound working? Priya, I believe so. Priya, if you can hear us, we are uh, giving you an introduction. Whenever you're ready, uh, you can go ahead. Um, hello, could you guys hear me now? Okay. Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, okay. Sorry for okay, the Are you loud and clear? Okay, yeah. Um, my name is Priya Roy. I'm a senior from Hemtramck High School, and this is my first year in the council. And one of the reasons why I wanted to be part of this council is because I have um, worked in the community before, and there are certain um, issues and concerns that I want to address in this community. And I also love working with a big group of people and exchange ideas with them. So that is why I wanted to be part of this council. Thank you. Great, great. So we will go ahead and move on to the oath of office. Uh, what I'd like each of you to do is just hold up your right hand and then read the statement that you see on the screen and say your name. I, you could read it out loud. I, Thomas Besick, will maintain and respect the vision of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council. All at once, everybody read out loud. Yeah. I will perform the best. I, Jared Jones, will maintain and respect the vision of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council. I will perform the best. I will at all times be grateful for the support I will be in a friendly manner and respectful and law abiding manner. Throughout life, I will strive to uphold the and create opportunity to realize success. Congratulations. You're officially members of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council. Yay. <laughs> All right. Madam Clerk, uh, the next item. Did we miss? Um, Elections. All right. So um, we have three positions, basically. And you all should have received a description of those positions. And if you are interested, um, please put your name in the chat. If you're interested in the chair, or if you're interested in the vice chair or secretary, uh, put your name in the chat. And then for all those um, that are interested, you're going to do a give us a two minute speech as to why you're the best person for that position. Uh, and just to let you know, most all of our meetings will only be an hour uh, to an hour and a half because we know that you're busy. Um, and we don't want to keep you too long, but we want each meeting to be impactful uh, and that you take away something from each meeting. Um, let's see. Are we, are you taking a tally, uh, Robert, of who's doing what? Yeah. I am taking a tally and okay. I'm very surprised actually, but, okay. um, but okay. we have one, we have one mm -hmm. person for chair, three people for vice chair and one person for secretary. Let me scroll down a little bit here. Oh. So we just need to. That's all we have. Okay. And someone asked about the uh, social media chair. Um, we, yes, we do have a social media 
chair as well. And that person is responsible for posting on Instagram, Facebook. And do we have another, what's the other one? Um, maybe it's just Instagram and making sure that uh, the website, the county website is updated as well. Um, so yes, if anyone is interested in that. So what I need you to do, Robert, is, is make a list of those uh, interested in vice chair and chair and secretary. And then we can go ahead and start uh, with the first person, uh, two, two minutes. Um, All right. Of, uh right in front of you the list of responsibilities for all the executive positions within the youth council so there is a chair a vice chair a secretary and a social media chair and we also this is not a part of the executive team but we always have an opening invocation uh, so any members that are interested in providing a prayer uh, to start off our youth council um, we do take offer ups for those for anyone that is interested so we are going to start with the elections of chair. Uh, just give me one second here to pull this up. I'm going to start with Zion McCain for or McCann for chair. My apologies. And you have two minutes to present your uh, role for chair. Go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Zion McCann. Uh, I am I'm senior. sorry, oh. Z Zion. Just one second. Um, can you put a spotlight on her so that instead of the duties, we can see whoever's speaking? Yeah. Oh, that's ugly. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah, I can put a spotlight on her. Okay. Should and, and each speaker, yes. So. And we do up. this because uh, if you're going to be in a leadership role, you have to be willing to be in the spotlight, right? Yes. Okay. We, we should. All right. Spotlight for everyone. I'd like to ask if the clerk or the commissioner could also help me some of these folks because my computer is a little lagging here. So if... That'd be greatly appreciated. Yep, you're you're fading in and out, Robert. Too. Okay, are you not able to? It, it it's it's okay if you can't. Then we can see if the clerk can spotlight. And if not, we'll move forward. Uh, she should be spotlighted on my end. Um, is everybody else seeing her spotlighted? I see the. Can everyone see her? Me. Yes. Can anybody else see, see yeah. the spotlight? Yeah, spotlight. Oh, it is? Okay. So it, it's me. I don't know why my computer. Okay. Go ahead then, Zion. Um, okay. Just a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. My name is Zion McCann. Um, you've probably gotten an email from me already, my bad. Um, I'm a senior at Cass Technical High School. In addition to being a third year member of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council, where in the 2022 through 2023 year, I served as vice chair, I am involved in many activities in and outside of school, including the Cass Tech Girls Golf Team, serving as varsity captain, um, Pros of Promise Ivy Lets, where I previously served as vice chair for the last year as well, and um, class of 2024 executive board and i am also a new member of midnight golf um along with much more although that seems like a lot i have amazing times management focus and delegation skills which is why i believe i would be an amazing chair not only was i an active and engaging member last year 
um, and the year prior, but I want to improve my community. My efforts in community involvement supports the vision of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council, which allows Wayne County youth to improve their community through service and activism. As a future change maker, this opportunity to serve my, my community will support my future aspirations as I continue to grow and evolve to become a productive, working, and active member of the world. Great, thank you, thank you. So we'll move on to, is there anyone else that was chair, uh, running for chair, Robert? Um, I am not seeing anybody else here in the chats okay. uh, running for chair. So, right. um, so you, do we need to? We don't really need to vote by, by default. Take a vote on that? <laughs> Or but, is that yeah, I guess yes. Go, we can officially vote on it. Yes, but by default, she has it. Uh, all, yeah, all those in favor. I can't vote, but you have my support. Uh, Zion McCann as the chair of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council 2023-24 term. Just raise your hand. All right. So, anyone? I'm not taking a number of this. So yeah. it's already a majority vote okay. for this. All right, and others are okay. Passes unanimously. Any anyone oppose? You can put your hands down. <laughs> so is that looking like it? All right. Okay. It passes yeah. you now. Honestly. It does. Yes, it does. Congratulations, Zion. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Three years. It's been three years. I've been waiting for that. <laughs> All right. Go go ahead with the vice chair. And it took me not being a member to see that. <laughs> All right, one second. Um, I'm gonna call on Thomas Besick for vice chair and you have two minutes to present to the council why you would be the perfect candidate. So whenever you're ready, oh, Thomas. Hey everyone, I really don't have anything prepared, but I'm just gonna kind of wing it right here. But I'm a senior at Dearborn High School and um, I have a 4.3 GPA and I'm a leader. Um, in and outside of school. This is my third year on the council, so um, it's really um, nice to be back for another year and um, empowering to kind of collaborate with all of you. Um, last year, I kind of took over as social media chair, so that's kind of um, the um, experience I have on this council. But outside of that, um, I am the drum major of the marching band at my high school. And if, for those of you who don't know, drum major is essentially the highest leadership position in the band. So I'm responsible for discipline, um, organizing different events, communicating with different leaders and um, uh, delegating certain tasks that are assigned to me. So with those qualities, I hope you vote for me as your next vice chair. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thomas, for that. And the next person I'm going to call on for the vice chair position would be Kira Johnson. Hello, you have everyone. Two minutes My to name... speak whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Kira Johnson. I am in District 6 with Commissioner Monique Baker McCormick. I am currently a junior at Renaissance High School. Uh, this is my second year on the council. I am interested in this position because I have great leadership skills. I serve as class sergeant at arms and I am secretary of Delta Gems and I am a proud nine year member of Girl Scouts. Being involved in these activities have allowed me to create great habits in speaking, leadership and time management skills. My first year on the council was great. We were allowed opportunities to speak with government officials on issues that we had at hand and the Lansing trip was amazing. Thank you all for allowing me to be a part of this council and allow me to voice my issues to the community. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kira, for your presentation. The next person I'm going to call on for the vice chair position is Jayla Jackson. You have two minutes to present to the council why you would be the perfect candidate and you can go ahead whenever you're ready.
Shayla, can you hear us at all? All right, I'm going to come back to her. Uh, the next person I have for the Hello? chair position or vice chair position. Can you hear me? Oh, it, I'm now here. we can I'm hear sorry. you. Okay, we'll come back sorry, to Jayla. My mic. <laughs> my mic. That's okay. No worries. You have two minutes to present whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, I think I will be perfect for vice president because um, I'm really good at it. I'm good at taking notes. I'm good at putting everything down. Um, I'm very intelligent. I'm fast with everything. Uh, I will know everything. I don't forget anything. And that's why I think I will be good for it. Um, I'm a 10th grader at Southeastern High School. Thank you, Jayla, for that presentation. The next person I'd like to call on for the vice chair position is Rishi Kumar. You have two minutes to speak in front of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council to present why you are the perfect candidate for the role. And you can go ahead whenever you're ready. Thank you, Robert. Uh, let me just start my speech with some simple questions. What is leadership? Who is a leader? And what are their qualities? Well, in our journey to find out, I believe you will find someone who represents those points. And I believe that's me. My name is Rishi Kumar, a 12th grader at Northville High School, and I'm seeking your vote to help me be our Wayne County Commission Youth Council Vice Chair. I want to start with a quote from entrepreneur Seth Berkeley. Leadership is about vision and responsibility, not power. A leader should be able to be responsible and get the job done in a hardworking manner. But why do I believe that I am that leader? I have much experience in leading the council last year as secretary, among many other clubs. For example, I led a nonprofit that raised not one, not two, but $300,000 for charities around Detroit. I also helped raise $100,000 as the leader of my school's Indian American Student Association. Wanting to continue the work I did for my community, I participated this past summer in an internship with the Wayne County Commission Budget Department and previously also uh, served as an intern with the University of Michigan helping spread youth mental health treatment around Mentor Detroit. Point being, I believe I'm a leader and I have a vision to make my community better and responsibly do so. I ask for you guys to help me lead this council to new heights that my track record proves. I want to represent you to the best of my ability. I want to be that vice chair and I can't do it without you guys. My name is Rishi Kumar and I'm seeking your vote for my position as vice chair. Thank you for that presentation, Rishi. And the last person I'm going to call on for the vice chair position to the YCCYC is Priya Roy. You have two minutes to present in front of the commission on why you would be the perfect candidate and you can go ahead whenever you're ready. Um, hi everyone, my name is Priya Roy. And the reason why I would like to be the vice president is because um, I have a record of working collaboratively and accomplishing successful outcomes. As the co-president of Drama Society, I have worked with big groups of people from different backgrounds and managed teams as a stage manager, as well as led successful projects such as the set production of a whole show as the vice president of our club. My community has a lot of immigrant students and families who need extra support navigating the opportunities that they should take full advantage of, as well as the school system. As a person myself who belongs from the same community has experienced similar events like this, which is why this is one of my goals that I hope to work on with all of you. Working with big groups of people has helped me grow as a person to become a better leader and stay committed. As an example, I have been involved with APIA Vote Michigan to advocate for voting rights of the Asian Pacific Islanders community. I got more than 500 people from Hamtramck and others to sign up for voting registration. I also hosted a community event by inviting organization that aligns with the same goal as mine, from um, different community to, uh, to come together to create an inclusive community. My collaboration and communication skills make me effectively manage a large team of people. I believe in order to successfully run the youth council, a person needs to be driven, committed, and has to be passionate. 
Therefore, I'm very passionate about community engagement and my goals align the same with the Wayne County Commission Youth Council. So I intend to work with you, you all to address these issues and concerns by exchanging creative ideas with each other and serving you all to provide an inclusive and equi equitable youth community. Thank you all for listening. Thank you, Priva, for that presentation. Madam Chair, those are all the members that have suggested and presented to for the vice chair position. Zion, um, you're the chair now. So you can um, take the votes of each uh, person individually, and you can only vote once for one of the candidates. You can't vote for more than one person. So Zion is going to ask each individual or call out each individual that's running for vice chair, and then we'll, we'll count the votes. Commissioner. Yes. It may be easiest to just go down the road and call each per person's name and they say who they're voting for. That might be easier to keep track of. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's fine. We could do it that way. Okay. You want me so, to start? Zion, you can, you want to do, do that? Or, um, or yeah. did you want to do it, Pam? Robert took down the list, so I can't see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you put back up the list, Robert? Yes, I can. That is no problem. I just wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to have their spotlight, so I took my screen off. Right, yeah. And okay. um, you should be able to see it. Okay. So I don't know if you, you all, the only thing is, do you all know, I guess, did you all pick the person that you want to vote for? And you know who that is. I'm, I'm hoping you did. <laughs> um, okay. I think, so, I think Zion was asking for the agenda with the names to be put. Yes, back. with the names. Yes. yes. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Yep. I so got we that. Go, no problem. So she can go down the right list here. of members. Right. Okay. Perfect. That's, that's okay. No problem. Yep. I can see it now. Yep. All right. So. All those in favor for having Thomas Besick as vice chair, please just raise your hand. Uh, were you saying just ask each individual, right? Uh, Pam, were you saying ask each individual or? Yeah, I think that it's good. Now, if you all can keep track of the raising of the hands, because I can't see all of that on my screen. So if that's oh, if you all can keep track of that and write yeah, all the names can only down. Vote for one person, so you can't raise your hand twice. So I think that that it'll be okay. Yeah. So so, so let's go in order. Um, yeah. If this makes so, it easier for yeah, you, Madam no, Chair. No, she, she already called for Thomas. So uh, let's go ahead with Thomas. And so all you need to do is raise your hand if you are voting for Thomas in the, in the, um, everyone knows how to raise their hand. Is that correct too? Okay. Well, it looks okay. like Thomas if, is voting for himself though. Right, he can vote for himself. You're, you should always okay. vote for yourself. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, okay. I didn't have that opportunity last year though. Yeah. But um, so anyone that's had, interested in Thomas Fessick, like raise your hand. It looks like two votes. Okay. And and let uh, Zion take it from Robert. Let Z Zion okay. run the meeting from here. Yep. Okay. Yep. We got it. Just... Okay. Two. Okay. Everyone in favor of voting Jayla Jackson as vice chair for the 2022 through 2023 year, please raise your hand. Okay, just one person. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I said 2022. My bad. <laughs> I'm in 2023 through 2024. Okay. Yeah. Was it one uh, one or two? It looks like two people for Jayla. Mm -hmm. Or is it just one? I only oh, they... saw one. Okay. Yeah. Every... Okay. Now she put her hand down. Okay. All right. So one. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And those voting Kiara Johnson. As vice chair, please raise your hand. One, two, three, um, four, including myself. Um, five. Five, okay. Um, those voting for Rishi Kumar as vice president, please raise your hand. Um, I only see two hands. I don't know if that's on purpose or because I believe he is the last candidate. Am I correct? Okay. Um, let, let's do another count uh, for Rishi just to make sure if you're voting for him, leave your hand up. If you're not, put it down because I thought I saw more. So I see two right now. Then I see three. Yeah. And then I, okay, the hand went up and then went down. So, um, no, I have not gotten to her. Okay. So that's three for Rishi. And last, our last candidate is, oh, I'll wait for you. Okay. Our last candidate is Priya Roy. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If you would like for her to be, <coughs> right, please raise your hand. Bless you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On my end, I see four. Can somebody confirm that? Just so. I have yeah, I also see four, four on my end as well. Okay. I have been recording this for you. Okay. Um, everybody can put their hands down. So just for confirmation for Thomas, I have two. That's correct. Okay. For Jayla, I have one. For Kiera, I have five. For Rishi, I have three. And for Priya, I have four. If you have not voted, please put in the chat who you would like to vote for, just so it won't cause any confusion. Okay, going once, going twice, and three times. And our vice chair for the 2023 through the 2024 um, year is Kiara Johnson, winning with five votes. Congratulations, Kiara. Yeah. Um, Congratulations. That's wonderful. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, moving on to the secretary role. Um, is there anyone who would like to run for secretary? If so, please raise your hand. Maybe. Just one person? Okay. Well, um, since I don't see anyone else's hand raised, Nitty, you can go ahead and with your speech. Hi guys. I mean, this is pretty pointless, but uh, I'll just say some words to help y'all get to know me better. Um, my name is Nidhi. Um, you can just say Nidhi Kumar. Um, don't need the name. I'm a sophomore in Northville High School, Northville Tan Township. My county commissioner is Mrs. Terry Marecki, um, Division 9. She's the chair of the Committee on Public Services and serves on the committee's on Health and Human Services and Ways and Means, as well as the Special Committee on Criminal Justice Complex. 
So I'm hoping to run for the secretary officer position because I believe my skills best align with the position and that allows me to make most impact in the council with my current skills. So why do I think that I'm even qualified for this? Well, I have a list. I'm greatly involved both outside and inside of my school environment with a general focus around the betterment for youth around Wayne County. Like in school, I serve as a coordinator for our speech club in the middle school. It's called Forensics. We also raise money every year for a different charity on top of the competitions um, the kids participate in. I'm very passionate about education in specific and the youth voice, just talking and mentoring the kids who are just like pretty much just a couple years younger, but they're like so full and bright of ideas. It makes so much of a difference. And it reminds me how often the needs of youth, they're often ignored in the public sphere. That's indirectly influenced my ability to participate in such activities such as the council. My experiences as also a poet has also shaped my view on life, like meeting people who are big thinkers to the practical realists. I believe I want to talk about the issues that really hammer home, like I said, like gun violence and substance abuse. History and writing things down is important to me. After all, as Robert just said in the beginning of the meeting, we're making history and changes here, right? So surely somebody's got to write the, all that down. I'm great at organizing and being present, and I love listening to the various ideas people have. My notes will be easy to follow with unbiased opinions. I, for one, can proudly say that I've officially mastered Google Drive, so we don't need to worry about none of that. At the end of the day, I am a student in a Wayne County public school, and I enjoy hanging out with my friends, playing sports, and enjoying free time just like everyone else. Uh, I stand out through my involvement with the community, though, and I promise I will be an excellent addition to the council secretary and if i get elected to the post i will make sure that everything runs smoothly thank you that was a beautiful speech um because you're running unopposed i would like to appoint you as secretary oh i guess y'all can vote <laughs> um all those in favor let me raise my hand okay I would like to appoint you as secretary of the 2023 through 2024 year. Congratulations. Um, Congratulations. And you can start taking notes like right now. <laughs> I'll just start a Google Doc. <laughs> okay. Right, please. And after um, each meeting, you submit the minutes to Robert. Okay. But we'll talk more about that later. I just wanted to give uh give you that information right now okay okay and i believe the next role is social media officer so if you would like to run for that um officer please raise your hand let me keep track one two three so i see kelly i see noah and i see jayla is that correct is there anyone else running? Okay, we can start um, speeches off with Kelly. Kelly, go ahead whenever you're ready. Oh, I didn't mean to raise my hand, sorry. Oh, okay. So we can start off with Noah then. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Hello everyone, I'm Noah Grubin and I'm a senior at Hamtramck High School. And I'm excited to share with you why I would be an ideal candidate for the role of social media manager in the Wayne County Youth Council. One of the first main reasons is that I'm a very creative person and um, I'm very passionate about it. And one of the things that I have done with my creativity is that I have founded the newspaper club at my school and I am the editor in chief. Um, through this experience, it taught me how to craft engaging content that captures people's attention and gets them talking. And when it comes to social media, um, creativity is key and I'm ready to bring those fresh ideas to the table. And another thing to emphasize my commitment is my role in the student council at my school. I am treasurer for about a year now. And through that, I pretty much handle all the decoration, all the uh, pretty much stuff like vendors for homecoming, pep rally, things like that. And I just make sure that everybody has an input in those decisions. And lastly, I firmly believe in the power of social media to reach and mobilize the youth, especially in today's age. It's an incredible platform to raise awareness and drive change on issues that matter to us. 
And I'm passionate about using social media to unite and get those messages out. And in conclusion, I am enthusiastic about this opportunity to serve as a social media manager, as well as just general membership. And with my creativity, commitment, and belief in the impact of social media in today's age, especially with our youth, um, I'm ready to take on this role and fulfill it best I can. Thank you. Awesome speech. Um, it was brought to my attention in the chat that you also ran unopposed. Um, so if you like, <laughs> if you like to everyone to vote, please raise your hand so we can vote for Noah as our social media chair. Okay, congratulations, Noah. Um, congratulations, yay. Um, can you just list your executive board, um, their names? Can you just call them out just so everyone's clear uh, who is what? Okay. Um, chair is, of course, myself, Zion McCann. Um, vice chair is Kiara Johnson. Secretary is Nid Nidhi. I, I believe I said that right. I'm yeah, gonna get you it got right. that right. You got that right. Okay. Um, Nidhi Kumar. And then our social media chair is Noah Gubin. Gubin. Did I say it right? I hope I did. Gubin. Gubin. Got you. I'm Thank gonna get you. everybody's names. So, yeah. Congratulations to the new executive board. Wonderful. What about invocation by the chaplain? Uh, so, so officially we don't need, um, and uh, we officially, we don't have to vote on that. Uh, oh. We're gonna kind of leave that open to whomever would like to give an invocation at each meeting. It could end up one individual but it's uh, it's kind of open and fluid. Okay. All right. So, uh, Madam Chair, um, the only thing I think we have left is the approval of the the last minutes. So I think you could go down to that, and the clerk can help you with that. So Commissioner, I'm going to ask that you all put this on your next agenda. The former clerk for this meeting, Amina Spivey, is actually on vacation right now. So if you can move this to your next meeting. Okay. Actually, we should have a copy. You have a? Uh, Robert, do, don't we have a copy that um, I think Rishi sent it over, right, Rishi? That's yep. correct. Rishi sent it over to me and I have it pulled up on my screen. Oh. Yeah, if you could, oh, this is it. Okay, so if you could just scroll through it very sh uh, slowly so we could see what happened at the the last um, meeting. Um, Madam Clerk, you me, Madam mm -hmm. Chair, um, then you can uh, move for a vote on, on this. Okay, I would like to make a motion to approve the minutes of our last meeting. So as chair, you you ask for someone to make uh, okay. a, a motion or to move your item. You can't actually make the motion yourself, so. Okay, would someone like to make a motion to approve the minutes of our last meeting? I would like to make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from March 30th, 2023. Will some, can somebody second that motion, please? I, I second, second that. that motion. Okay. <laughs> and we just need the name of whoever, whichever you pick to that moved it and then the person that supported that motion. Okay. Thomas um moved the Thomas Bessick moved the motion and then Janine Jackson second the motion. And then you call for the vote. Oh. Which can 
I call for a uh, vote of the motion. Now, now you call for a vote af after it's been moved and then supported, then you can call for a vote. So you ask uh, all those in favor. Yeah. All those in favor of approving the minutes of our last meeting. Say aye, please. Aye. <laughs> aye. 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 Okay. And then okay. you, you can ask if anyone opposes. Anybody oppose? Does anyone oppose? Motion passed. Yep, so you could say motion passed. Oh, motion passed. All right, that was that. And then you can go on to the next item. Okay. So you can ask the clerk uh, next item, Madam Clerk, or something like that. Next mm -hmm. item, please. <clears throat> next item, please. Sorry. I'm sorry, Robert, can you put the agenda back on the screen? Yes, that is not a problem. Give me one second. And we're right uh, running great time because this is like we have about four minutes left. All right. Next item, item H under new business there is none listed. Moving to item I announcement by members. So, uh, Madam Clerk, so you're at that item, the clerk, I'm sorry, Madam Chair, you're at announcement by members. You can ask at this point if any members have any announcements that they want to make. Okay. Yeah. Does anyone have any announcements they would like to make? Um, I actually have an announcement. Um, last year, we used iMessage as our main form of communication outside of um, our Zoom calls and the email thread. Um, information kind of got confused and lost in the thread. Um, so this year, we are going to be using GroupMe. I'm going to send our GroupMe link. Um, if I can. Okay. I'm going to send our GroupMe link in the chat. Please, please, please um, join the GroupMe. It is open to all members. So everybody can join. Um, I will be sending reminders of meetings, um, birthdays, just a happy birthday wish if somebody has a birthday coming up, um, reminders of in-person meetings, um, notes. Normally we have a book that we read. I'll send like little spark notes of that book so we can still have active conversation. Um, so yes, this group meet is very important. Um, there goes the link right there. And yes. That's my only announcement. And you can ask for any other announcements. Um, are there any other announcements? Madam Chair, I've got something on a staff update that I'd like to update our members with, if I have, have your permission to do so. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so just for everyone's attention, um, there was an uh, issue getting out the agenda to all members over the past week. Um, the agenda has been officially sent out, and I'm pretty sure most members reached out to each one of you to get it out officially. Um, I will need a list of parents. So what I'm going to need from all students before our next meeting, which will be in October, is for a parent and student email resent over to me to make sure that the email is corrected and you guys are receiving it. A lot of emails that I sent out when we did our congratulatory letter did not go to the following email addresses. They said that it was not an email address. It was valid. It did not sent out. So I want to make sure that all members and myself were all on the same page when getting information out uh, going forward. So all parents and all students are aware of what's going on in the youth council and I have the right email address. Uh, the second order of business since I'm officially on camera now. Um, it's a pleasure to be working with all members this year. I am very excited for this year, especially our returning members, you know, coming back and working with them. If you guys have any questions or any members have concerns, please feel free to reach out to me at email waneyouth2020 at gmail.com. 
And for anyone that needs to directly reach out to me via my cell, uh, Zion will also, well, Madam Chair will have my cell number posted in the group chat if anyone has concerns. Again, that is wayneyouth2020 at gmail.com if anyone has questions or concerns. And I look forward to working with all members this year and seeing the great progress we have. Thank you, Madam Chair. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just interrupt to say that that email address will be changed. I've been informed today that there is a, well, there's an official youth council email that we should be using, not that a uh, Gmail account. So Robert, there is an official youth council and we will get you um, signed on to that email. Well, that is great news to actually hear. So thank you, Madam Clerk. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, are there any more announcements by members? Uh, the only other thing um, is you should have the tentative schedule that is fluid right now, um, but I do want you to look over it. Uh, we have our next, uh, you can stay on that, um, you can stay on the, on the agenda. Okay, so our next meeting is going to be October 26th, but we do have a parent meeting that is on the tentative schedule, which is October 19th. So we want to make sure that your parents are aware of uh, this meeting that we're going to have, which again is October 19th. Um, and we'll send out a notice of that and any updates to the tentative schedule you will receive as well. And if you look at the agenda, October 26th or 27th will be our meeting dates. Our meetings are usually the fourth Thursday of every month, unless we are um, having a field trip of some kind, then it may alter the, the, uh, the, the date in which it's on. So again, the next meeting is tentatively scheduled the Thursday, October 26 is the fourth Thursday. However, we are arranging to, uh, with Wayne State, to have our uh, advocacy training at Wayne State University uh, like we did last year. However, we just have not confirmed that, that the 27th is going to work for them. So just keep those two dates in mind as well as October 19th for the parent meeting. As Robert indicated, we need to make sure that we have your emails correct and your parents' emails so that we can get the information to you and to your parents. Uh, also, the last thing I wanted to mention is that we we have our, is Felicia still on the line? Staff, attorney, our commission. Uh, are you still on, Felicia? No? Okay. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm here. I'm sorry. Oh. I was on mute. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I just wanted you to introduce yourself um, so they know your role uh, and that you'll be on most of our meetings, if not all of our meetings. Um, so if you can introduce yourself. Are you there? My what am I? Can you all hear me? Now we can. My apologies. So my name awful, is Felicia we Johnson. Can hear you. Okay, my name is Felicia Johnson. I am the attorney, the attorney for the Wayne County Commission. We handle all legal matters. Um, on behalf of the commission, we provide legal advice and we assist all the various divisions. We will be here to assist you 
Also on this call is attorney Ebony Adams. She works in the legal department and she will be um, assigned to your group specifically and she will be attending all of your meetings um, via Zoom and hopefully we will be able to attend some in-person meetings to meet you all. If you have any questions about the law or any um, item related to the Youth Council, we are here to answer those questions and to assist you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. And that was it for me, Madam Chair. Um, unless, Robert, did you have anything else that we are missing or that we didn't discuss? I think that kind of clears it up. Um, if anyone has any questions regarding the matter, um, like I said, until we can get the other email address uh, confirmed by the clerk. Hopefully that should be soon. For now, please reach out to me via email at Wayne Youth 2020 for any questions. And also uh, the exec team, you probably want to make sure you exchanged, uh, exchange information, uh, the exec team, because you guys, you guys are going to be working closely together. And then um, Noah, you can reach out to Robert for the social media passwords and all that good stuff. So you can get, get started on that. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, Madam Chair, I think uh, that's it uh, for announcements and uh, all that I had. I had, so. Oh, yes, Needy. Uh, I took notes. <laughs> so, um, is there a specific? Should I just send it to the the current email, or should I like wait for that? Yes, what whatever you have, um, just just send it over to us, and that way we can try to start working with you know with it for our next meeting. And when we get the additional uh, email, then we'll we'll give you that one, so you'll have that to right, work. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I believe that's it. Um, everyone, please make sure that you join the group me because that's where the members main form of communication. Once again, outside of the email chain will be, um, if you need to contact me personally, I'll put my number in here, but I don't really answer my phone <laughs> during school hours. Um, but I, I do answer in a timely manner. Um, also, yeah, you know what? Never mind. Um, yes. So, do I adjourn the meeting now? Uh, is another item on the agenda we we didn't get to yet. Oh, so okay. Next we item. Did Jay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Next item, please. Oh, Ebony, you can go ahead and read the next item. I think it's public comments. I'm sorry, I called you Ebony, Zion. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that's my mom's name, that's funny. <laughs> I know, that's why I said it, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, do we have any public comments? Going once, going twice. Three times. Okay, no public and then comments. You can, you can ask for a motion to adjourn. Is there a motion? Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'd like to make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Can someone support that motion, please? I support that motion to adjourn this meeting. Okay. We have a motion. All in favor? Say aye, please. Aye. 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 Okay. Meeting adjourned. Um, see you all next meeting. It was wonderful meeting everyone. Goodbye. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everybody.